4 News tonight. Now, the latest trend with teens and pills. CBS 4 investigates a growing party scene with a shocking twist, popping poison. Kids are using completely random combinations of prescription drugs to get high, sometimes with deadly results. I-team investigator Lori Stein has the story in her exclusive investigation, Popping Poison. Imagine reaching into a bowl of pills, grabbing a handful, and popping them all into your mouth, having no idea what you've taken. You know, it might sound crazy, but it's actually a dangerous new trend. And tonight, you're going to meet some people who've done it. You may have caught this recent episode of CSI in which teens are at a house party. There's a mixed bowl of drugs on the table, and each guest swallows a bunch. If you think these parties are just for TV, think again. We've learned they're happening right here in South Florida. If you don't have any to bring in, no pills to bring in, you can't come in. When everybody's there, you all, we all pour it on the table, and you just take whatever is in there. How much do you take? It, as many as you want. Jasmine says they're called trail mixing or pharmaceutical farming parties. At first, I was like, I was telling myself, well, I'm not feeling anything. I need to take more. I need to take more. And you took more? I kept taking more and I kept popping more pills. Jasmine tells us the drug of choice is Xanax, which they call bars. They also like to take oxycodone, Valium, Percocet, anything that teens can get from their parents' medicine cabinets, even heart pills or cough medication. I forget where I was, and then I keep telling myself, I'm not messed up yet, I'm not messed up yet. And next thing that I knew, I woke up the next day, and I'm like, whoa, what happened? Jasmine's now in rehab here at the starting place in Hollywood. She's trying to get her life back together and get off drugs. But she isn't alone. I also met another teenager here at the starting place. His name is Shannon, and he's also had his share of trail mixing parties. He told me he once took eight pills and had no idea what he was taking. You'll feel like the different combinations and stuff just hitting you. Shannon says once the music's going and all the parties around him, he stops worrying about the dangerous effects of so many pills. It's a good feeling, yeah. How? Just makes you feel like, it makes you interact with people a lot more, like you're open and everything. And it just makes, like for me, it makes you feel normal because I'm used to being all messed up. So for me, it feels normal. Experts say the use of marijuana and heroin has been decreasing, but pharmaceutical drug abuse is growing fast. In a recent Columbia University study, 2.3 million kids took prescription drugs illegally in the past year. That's up more than 200 percent from 1992, and researchers are calling it an epidemic. Let me open that now. Every kid should be like you. It's becoming such a big problem, there are even public service announcements aimed at kids who steal their parents or even their grandparents' medications to get high. Where are the parents when these parties are going on? Usually it's the kids' parents went out of town or they went on a cruise or they went here or there. They're at a meeting. Dad's at work. And this teenager named Kyle says parents often have no idea their child is at a trail mix party. And I would just call my mom up and be like, Mom, you know, could, uh, could I sleep over so-and-so's house? Oh, yeah, that's fine. Just be back in the morning, you know, sometime around 10. So I would be like, okay, that's cool. And instead of sleeping over whatever's house, be out all night just partying and stuff. I would say count every pill. Barbara Zolman runs a community service group called Defy It that aims to keep kids off drugs. She says parents should lock up any medications that could be abused and check your medicine cabinet frequently. Even if your child is not stealing pills, your child's friend could be. We lock down our cabinets when children are little. We have childproof locks so that they don't get into the, to the cleaning supplies. And now, when they're in middle school and high school, it's, it's like those precautions are out the window. Kyle and Shannon both dropped out of high school. But if you think it's only certain kids who go to trail mixing parties, remember Jasmine? You might be interested to hear that she's a high school honor student and star athlete. I was the kid that everybody wanted, but behind all that good stuff, I had this drug life that nobody knew about. 
I got bored and I got curious. And it might sound a little cliche, but when experts say talk to your kids about drugs, you probably should. When I asked these teens what their take home message would be when it comes to trail mixing parties, they said parents should really talk to kids about what happens when people abuse drugs. Show them video, show them whatever, give them books, give them something to show them like what the happens to these people. And if you want to get some really good tips on how to talk to your kids, all you have to do is go to our website, cbs4news.com. Lori Stein, CBS4 News, tonight. You might be wondering how these kids mix so many drugs and not overdose. Well, the answer is that some kids do, and it can just take a few pills. Some kids do not overdose simply because everybody is different. If you have a tip for our I-Team investigators, give them a call at 305-471-0404. Here's something you may not have expected to hear.